Hello there, you're watching Dansky and this is the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to wrap text in Adobe Illustrator. So I've created a new document. It's a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And I'm going to start by selecting the type tool. And we can left click and we can just type lots and lots of text. And you can see that I can keep typing and it will just continuously type this on one line to infinity. And sometimes that's great. However, we want to kind of wrap our text onto multiple lines. If we've got lots and lots of text with paragraphs and things, it just makes it a lot easier to manage. Now we can manually do this by hitting return and we can then control our line breaks. You can see I'm typing furiously here and you can do it that way. And sometimes again, that works, but if you've got lots and lots of paragraphs of text and you need to adjust the text box within your design, then it can get a bit problematic. So what we can do is we can actually create a text box and we can do this by left clicking and dragging. And we can set the size and we can go up to type at the top and down to fill with placeholder text. So if you don't know what the text is going to be for the design, you can fill with placeholder lorem ipsum text and it will give you a good idea of how it's going to look. And you can also use this to mock up a design if your client doesn't actually know what the text is going to be yet. Now you can see we've pasted this in to the text box, this placeholder text. And now with the main selection tool, as we adjust the size of our text box, you can see it wraps the text onto multiple lines as necessary. And we can zoom in and with the type tool we can go in and we can manually press return and create some space between lines. So we'll define the paragraphs a little bit more here. And we can adjust this. So when we're working within our design and we need to adjust the text box, this will wrap automatically, which is incredibly helpful. Now, something else we can also do is because we have a text box, we can actually use the direct selection tool and we'll deselect by clicking anywhere on the artboard. And we can now hover over these corner points and you can see that we can click individual anchor points. So I could click this one in the top right corner and just pull this out holding shift to keep it perfectly straight. And you'll see that as I adjust the actual text box itself, the text will adjust with it. So I could pull this one up in here there we go. And you can see the text tries to fit as best it can. And something else you can do is you can actually left click and hold on the pen tool. You'll see underneath you've got the add anchor point tool and the delete anchor point tool. And we can use this to hover along this line and place lots of different anchor points. And then all of those anchor points, as you would use the pen tool in Illustrator anyway, can actually be selected and we can really start to pull this out of shape. Now this shape that I'm creating here is totally random. A much more practical application of this might be that if you have an image and you have some text, you can actually uh, adjust the text box this way using the direct selection tool and the pen tool to kind of curve around that image. Now something else we can do is instead of creating the text box and then distorting it in Illustrator, what we can do is we can actually create a shape. So let's go ahead and just create a circle. So we'll left click and hold shift. So we've got the circle there. We can actually create the shape itself, whether it's a shape in Illustrator like a circle or a polygon or something we create with the pen tool. We can create the shape first and then with the type tool selected, you'll see normally it has a square dotted line. This indicates that you will use the standard type tool. However, if we hover over the edge or the path along the shape, you can see that it changes to a circular dotted line. And if I left click, it will fill that shape with placeholder text. So you can see it's filled that shape with all that placeholder text, but we could even do this with something a little bit more complicated. So if we create a star, same again, we've got our shape and we'll just drag this down here and with the type tool, just hover over that path around the edge, click and it will fill it 
with placeholder text. And there we go. So those are two different ways that we can wrap text in Illustrator. You can add the text first and then distort the text box itself, or you can create a shape, whether it's a basic shape or a custom shape with the pen tool, and then you can fit the text to that shape. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.